Hi, I'm Nikki Wilson. I've been teaching here at Mason High School for 22 years. I teach English 4, AP English Literature, and I'm also a consultant for the College Board. I'm a mentor for the College Board and a reader for the AP Lit Exam. I was raised in a home environment where holidays were important and where hospitality was extremely important. So I want to create an immersive experience for students where they feel welcome, where they feel warm, where they feel like they can come and relax just a little bit. Even though the material might be stressful sometimes or the class might be stressful, uh, I want to make sure that they can feel relaxed while they're in the middle of it. I also worked in restaurants and so it was really important for me to create that homey kind of environment um, where people could feel like it's a break away from the rest of the day. especially within the AP classes about how do you balance a high stakes test like the AP exam with a learner-centered classroom. So at the end of the day, what, what I would love for them to do is to read for meaning and pleasure uh, and also to feel like the ideas that come out of the class really are applicable to any number of, of different occupations, uh, different situations that they find themselves in. We talk a lot about the complexity of characterization, the complexity of situations, and complex problem solving. So if they can do that in the sciences, if they can do that in literature, if they can do that in all areas of their life, then I will feel like that will be a great takeaway. When I first started teaching here, my son was little, he was five years old, and I was coming into a situation where I wasn't making money, not because of being here, but I came from a job where I didn't make that much money. And there was a transitional period where I think I came in to set up and I maybe only had like five to ten dollars to do it. Um, and so I had to borrow construction paper and I had to borrow a lot of things to set up the classroom. And as the years have gone on, it's been important to me to not only you know, build on my collection um, of materials, but also to continue trying to think back to those early stages where I didn't have anything and I really wanted to create warmth both personally as well as environmentally. The other thing that you see in the classroom is coffee and hot chocolate and uh, you know, oatmeal and things to make people feel warm and welcome. And part of that too is because when I was going to school sometimes there just wasn't enough food um, in the house. And so I wanted to make it feel normal. I wanted to normalize that here's a place where people could come in and regardless of your situation, um, there's always going to be something to eat, something to drink, and something to feel warm with.